3B video. This is Roger. <laughs> oh, hi, Mom. What's up? You want me to track something down for you? Sure, no problem. Shoot, what is it? Predator or something? Oh, not a movie. All right, well, I'll give it a shot. What are you looking for? Really? No, it's fine. I, I think I can find it. I, that's just a weird thing, you know, from my mom. I understand. Yeah, I'll do what I can. Uh, I'll go ask Evil, and if he doesn't know where we can find it, somebody will. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a call if I come across it. All right. Love you too, Mom. Bye. Who would want a picture of Ari Lehman's cock? Oh, well. Yo, Evo! You, um... Uh, uh. You got that picture of Ari Lehman's dick? Ari's what? Ari Lehman's dick, his penis. My mom was asking about it. She kind of wanted to take a look at it. What kind of person do you think I am? Of course I got that picture of Ari Lehman's dick. Fuck yeah. Can I bum it? Absolutely. As soon as I find it, I will send it right up front to you. All right, man. Thanks. She's going to love it. Picture of Ari Lehman's dick. Fucking gross. Pickles. Weird. Huh. Hello, internet fans. And welcome to 3B Video. I'm your host, Rotten Roger DeMarco. And today, we're going to be talking about Mikel Suave's 1994 film, Cemetery Man, or Della Morte, Della Morte. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. And I'm sorry if I butchered his name. But for those of you that don't know about this film, here is your plot synopsis. A grave digger and his buddy live in the cemetery, and they keep the freshly reanimated corpses population down with shovels and guns and whatever they can. So basically, they live in this cemetery just to kill the recently reanimated corpses in this town. There might be a little bit more to it, and we'll get into that in a minute, but first, let's take a look at Ryan Rogers! Splatter Bag. We have 25 dead bodies, plus a whole bus full of Boy Scouts. We have two titties and one penis. Those two titties, they're seen a lot though. We have gratuitous re-killing, spinny satin kissing, ghost flames, grave humping, spaghetti fisting, affectionate puking, zombie blasting, one motorcycle from the grave, severed head smooching, and mouth POV. The methods of death include, but are not limited to, zombie, <laughs> bus crash, I'll turn this damn bus around, gunshot, <coughs> chomped, <coughs> natural causes, <coughs> and burnt alive. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! I don't know. So now, on to my overall thoughts of the film, guys. This is one of those movies that when I was working at Suncoast way back in the day, I had a boss who was a few years older than me, and every day when I came into work and we had a lull in customers, he would go, have you seen this? Have you seen this? Have you seen this? Nine times out of ten, I had seen everything he pulled off the shelf, but there were a couple of rare occasions, and Cemetery Man was one of those. After listening to him pitch this movie to me, I of course used my employee discount, bought this very DVD, and ran home excited to watch it. And boy howdy is this movie fucking bonkers. It's this crazy little foreign horror film that kind of mishmashes a Sam Raimi style with an early Peter Jackson style. So you get all these really weird camera angles and all this fun zombie action, not to mention a fair amount of nudity. <laughs> so basically it's like this, seven days after a corpse is buried, they reanimate. And Francesco Della Morte and his buddy Nagi, who's <laughs> kind of not all there, run around in the cemetery and pick these zombies off. It's mainly Francesco because Nagi is 
kind of absent-minded and doesn't really help much. So what you get with this movie is this really weird hybrid of like a Three Stooges splat stick style with some very, very nasty effects. Just a super violent movie that you kind of have a hard time getting a handle on. You start to kind of figure it out and then the movie shifts gears. So then you start to figure out where it's going and then it shifts gears again. Maybe I'm just not grasping what's actually happening in the film, but either way, it has a very nightmarish quality to it where it feels like you're not sure what's really happening, but that does not stop it from being fun. This is a really exciting, oddball movie. So if movies like Dead Alive really grab your attention, then this one is definitely for you. A couple of really weird things about this movie is the lead girl is sort of turned on by death, and that's kinda gross. I saw Necromantic. <laughs> And so she starts to fall in love with Francesco. And I'm not gonna reveal what happens in this movie because this is one that you absolutely need to see to believe. You better have a seat belt on your couch because this movie goes in some very strange directions. Don't go down that road. Pet Cemetery reference, deep cut. This is a very fun movie that I believe that everyone needs to see. And in my personal opinion, this movie is 100% popcorn as fuck. I don't really know how else to pitch this movie to you other than it has a very dead alive, bad taste, nasty vibe to it. It's a fun splat stick zombie movie that I kind of feel like everybody needs to see. And I realize that out there in the real world, people might see a movie called Cemetery Man, pick it up, read the synopsis, and realize that it's a foreign film and go, mm, not for me, not for me. And that's a shame because it's just too much fun to be ignored. And in here, in 3B video, this B movie is the movie. But I suppose I should probably get going because after all, it's a lot of movies out there. And somebody's gotta watch them. So why not me, right? Plus I gotta track down a picture of Ari Lehman's piece.